This morning, I woke up to surprise pancakes. Today, we have a few things we want to get done. Um, we do probably want to drop by Packington Street to get some Asian groceries and we also have to return something to Kmart. Um, that's kind of in the same direction so we might get both of those done. And the other thing we need to do is oh we were gonna go watch a movie today at the in the cinema um i think we were gonna watch finding dory but school holidays are still on so it's gonna be too crowded we will postpone that um but there is meant to be there's also meant to be a thunderstorm with like hail and rain in the late afternoon so we need to run the dogs earlier rather than later i did the uploading and subtitling last night um, and I just did the dog poos in the patio. It's a bit weird because today is like a, it's like a normal weekday, but Mr. Moose has the day off. So I don't like, I've got heaps of stuff listed, but I need to figure out what I will and will not do because I don't want to waste time when he has the day off. But, um, yeah, he's just taking a shower now, so... We'll figure out what we're going to do today when he gets out. Random grocery and other stuff whole time. So, uh, we went to the Asian grocer to get rice mainly. Um, they also had a massive daikon. I mean, look, this is like almost the length of my arm. It's massive. So, we got a daikon. We also got a little, a tiny little bottle of tonkatsu sauce. This it's like the size of my hand, it's tiny, because they didn't have any big ones. A uh, couple of bags of potato starch. Next to the Asian grocer is the, um, the MS Society Multiple Sclerosis, so, so, Multiple Sclerosis Society op shop. Um, so we got some cute things there. There's a little onesie here for a dollar, um, which is about the size of one of my bunnies so I bought him a onesie because it's got a cute little bear on it and Mr. Moose found a book it's Washington DC it's the last night of the year and people are dying bum, bum, 
bum. And we also found two bits of fabric. I think they were like a dollar each. Um, I don't know what kind of quality they'll be, but they had cute things on them. So I got them. And back to the Asian grocer. Um, I really wanted some snacky things, so salty snacky things. So we got some crackers, uh, some semba, and some tempura seaweed um, bite things. They're very tasty. We also picked up some shabu shabu meat. Uh, shabu shabu meat here is really, really expensive. I don't know how much it's changed from like 10 years ago when, for example, mom would have been buying them. But, and this is the same at all Asian grocers. 500 grams of pork belly is like $14. $14. And the roll beast, 250 grams, is like five or six dollars, I think. And as you can see here, like it's not great quality meat either. It's pretty fatty. Um, it's just because it's sliced so thinly, and you can't get meat that's sliced that thinly in uh, like a regular butcher's here. You can't even ask them to slice it that thinly, unless it's like um deli meat. So I don't know. So when we go, it's always like a hundred dollars to go to the Asian grocer because we go maybe like once a month but it is really nice to be able to have hot pots and stuff like that so when we use them we normally use like half a pack at a time and we also got a giant one kilo bag of panko we've never tried this one before um it's a baker's panko japanese style but i thought it looked pretty good they're pretty big pieces as well and there was a, I think there was some kind of deal for the tonkotsu ramen, so we've got some of those. And I bought some Inari packs. Some natto. Natto is also really expensive here. I think some places are a little bit cheaper, but this is the one I normally get. And I think it's like, it's like four for ten dollars or something ridiculous. It's not cheap. And then we also went to Kmart to return something. And while we're there, um, I picked up some socks because I'm wearing through my last batch of socks. And yes, I wear size 2 to 8 in like children's socks because my feet are that small. So there's bunnies and kitties and French bulldogs and raccoons. They're very cute. And Mr. Moose just got some plain white ones. We were looking for Explorer socks because I was going to get some for John to send to him, but they didn't have any there, so I'm going to have to try the supermarket or Target or something like that. And I also just picked up a to-do list note. It's just a simple one. Um, it's a magnet one, but I'll probably peel that off just because my to-do list pad is almost run out. Also, we just got back from running the dogs and they are all in a very similar position to this one. They only ran for 25 minutes but they ran pretty full out for 25 minutes so they're all knackered and it's just started raining as well when we um, left to go out so good timing because it was sunny this morning but this afternoon and this evening it's meant to rain and thunderstorm and hail.
I just did the Jung personality test for uh, one of my human resources subjects. Uh, it's about recruitment and how personality scores into recruitment. And my result was um, introverted, sensing, feeling, judging. So I was all of the ones on the lower end of the scale. Um, they were all significantly lower except for sensing and my score was 23 so that's just one below intuitive. I'm looking up what the ISFJ personality actually is. Apparently it's called the Defender. So there are some some, some things in there like um, <laughs> they are a judging type, but they are often receptive to change in new ideas, which I thought was kind of funny. Um, <laughs> often meticulous to the point of perfectionism and though they procrastinate they can always be relied on to get the job done on time they take their responsibilities personally mm. ah, ensuring that they get noticed they have a tendency to underplay their accomplishments which isn't true for me because I very much like to blow my own horn yeah, I do feel like my hard work is often taken advantage of by other people, but... Do... <laughs> they utilize excellent memories, not to retain data or trivia, but to remember people and details about their lives. That's really true. Like, I can't remember what I ate for whatever lunch or dinner yesterday, but I do remember a lot of things about people and little details about them. <laughs> Apparently Beyonce and Queen Elizabeth II, <laughs> the Defenders, that's pretty funny. Okay, I can't remember the last time I vlogged today. Um, I've, I've finished editing most of today's vlog and I've been powering through some uni work. I've just spent the last couple of hours sort of going through stuff quickly. I'm using my new things to do notepad to write some stuff down so um i've pretty much finished one of my subjects i have a collaborate session that's like an online lecture um where you can interact with the other students and the lecturer um but that's not till tomorrow evening um yeah it's tuesday evening um so i will do that on tuesday and then I'm about to do the practice quiz and I probably won't take the actual quiz today. I'll probably take it tomorrow or Wednesday. Um, and my next subject, I've powered through that as well. I have a collaborate session for that one, but that's not till tomorrow as well. It's an, uh, I think it's an hour before this one. So I've done all of that. And then I've just got my last subject. Um, which is my hardest subject, so I will probably leave that one till tomorrow. Yeah, I'll probably just finish off the practice quiz tonight. And what time is it? It's six forty, so I'll probably do the practice quiz, and then we're having a sukiyaki hot pot for dinner. So that's really exciting. Sorry, I look like an Eskimo. It's really cold in here. Um, I just took the quiz for one of my subjects. Um, I did the practice quiz and I did pretty well. So I took the real thing and I got one question wrong. So that's a little sad, but it's better than getting more than one question wrong. So, oh well. <laughs>